First, let's just talk about the sell-off that we're seeing. I mean, what are your thoughts right away about the pressure, which is unusual because we're not used to seeing 2% on a Friday, tacking on to the weekly losses that we've been seeing. What's, what gives? Um, I agree. I mean, I think a correction at this point is perfectly healthy. It's impossible to say exactly what's driving this. Um, I think George made a couple good points. It could be putting a lot of pressure on some of the short sellers to liquidate other positions, given what's happening with you know, the Wall Street bets trades. Um, but the market has been going almost straight up and had a really spectacular start of the year. So I think a correction at this point was, was probably overdue and, and perfectly healthy and normal for right now. Everybody says that when you have a pullback, it's an opportunity. What's it an opportunity for? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, I think if we look at the reopening trade in the latter half of the year, you know, you talk about all these vaccine rollouts globally, governments are pumping all this stimulus. Um, we just investors are sitting on mountains of cash right now. You're talking about four point three trillion dollars in money market accounts, um, which to put that in perspective, that number was about three point nine trillion back in 2008. So we really expect, you know, profits to really soar in the later half of the year when we can really get a renormalization of the economy. Um, and I think a great place to be right now is places that are going to benefit the most from that. Um, look at cyclicals, companies that are really benefiting from the reopening of the economy, places like energy. Uh, if you think about people being on the roads more, people traveling more, going on vacations, et cetera, that's probably going to drive up energy prices. Um, also looking at, you know, emerging and international markets. We're already starting to see commodities prices rising. Um, that's really a lot of these emerging markets are, are commodities-based economies. And we're also seeing a devaluing of the dollar, which is really going to benefit some of these international markets. Well, that's interesting, too, because I know you talk about the dollar and what we've been seeing in, in yields and yields that are likely on the rise. And you have certain sectors that you think go with that story. Well, I think you know one of the big pictures that a lot of the speculation a lot of these investors are missing right now is inflation. Um, you know, we're seeing commodities prices rising, we're seeing interest rates rising, uh, unit labor costs are rising at the fastest pace over the last two quarters uh, since the 1990s. Uh, we're also seeing things like shipping costs increasing. Um, so, you know, in our view, that's, that's really something that you want to have in the portfolio to combat inflation and be a hedge against that, um, which, you know, investors need income. Um, and they also need things to, to benefit from these inflationary pressures, things like commodities, um, and energy and financials. When you talk about retailers, miners, energy, you know, you just mentioned that a little bit. Um, is there the other side of the coin to this story? A lot of these large growth and, and tech companies that have really been benefiting from really the lack of inflation, uh, low interest rates, and a lot of speculation. If you think about this huge influx of, of funds being put into the economy and, you know, a demand that really outweighs supply and profits and companies that really have room to, to grow their profits. Um, a lot of these big growth and tech companies are really at outstretched valuations already. Um, so in our view, that's, that's just not a great place to be putting your money into right now. Um, number one, the valuations are already very frothy and have already sort of been run up over the past year. That's been a, a huge benefit to being on lockdown and all the restrictions that we've had with the virus. Um, and we really see that if we do see inflation and rates continue to rise, that's only going to negatively impact those areas. Where do sentiment, emotion, bullish bear sentiment stand now? Uh, well, right now we're seeing, you know, we've seen bullish sentiment at the highest it's been in some time. Uh, there's also been a really low bear sentiment with, with puts on the S&P. Um, we, we may start to be seeing a rotation out of that right now. Um, but I think ultimately, you know, fundamentals drive markets um, where sentiment will weigh much heavier in the short term.